Thanks for checking out this unboxing video. This is the unboxing for the December Horror Bam Box, um, or as they call it, Bam Box Horror. Um, yes, the December one. So there's a special thing in this particular box that they did as just like an add-in that was these little like art cards that are done by Bianca Thompson. And apparently she's licensed to do things for like Star Wars and I think Marvel maybe. Um, for some special artwork. So the cards, they've been like pushing um, how cool these are going to be because they're so unique. And one of the other things is that each one of them that anyone gets is going to be collectible, severely collectible, because they're all one out of one. None of them were duplicated. So everyone's going to get a different one, which is also cool because it'll increase people's uh, wants to do trading through the Bambox community page on Facebook. So, you know, people get things that are like, well, I don't really like this franchise. Let me go and trade because they can find something. Um, I can't imagine how much work Bianca Thompson put into that because that's a lot of art to do. Now, I know she does airbrush stuff, so it's a little more simplistic looking, but I don't think it makes it necessarily easier to do. Um, I know that she also did some other like special things uh, where some of them are like verses where it's like two different franchises like a Freddy versus Jason or something so some people will get two cards because it's like Freddy versus Jason and you put them side by side to finish it and there are other ones where it's two cards to make one face like I saw one that's like um you know Jason Voorhees mask but it's uh you have to put two cards together in order to get the whole thing so she did some extra special stuff making more work for herself and apparently that was all her idea so I don't know she just likes creating extra work for herself um, pretty excited about this. I always like the, uh, the BAM horror box the most of the boxes, just because I'm big into horror, and they've been pretty good. I have my phone sitting over here because I want to make sure that I do the, actually I'm going to move it, I want to make sure that I do the, um, digital spoiler sheet after the fact. I don't want to forget about that because they stopped putting the physical spoiler sheet in there, which, you know, it makes sense from an eco-friendly standpoint. Tissue paper for my cat. Oh, there's only one thing of tissue paper? Oh, tissue paper for my cat, though. She loves it. She's all about that. Um, let me see. I'm trying to see if I got any one-ups. I don't think I got a one-up in this, which isn't really a big deal. Because basically everyone's kind of getting a one-up because of that item. So, Oh, no. Oh, no. <sighs> okay. So at this point, I, I already shot the video for the regular man box unboxing. Um, I'm putting these up at the same time, so if you watch this and you want to see the other one, you can just go back. It's available. So they did a similar thing in the regular box where they made like a fake uh, million dollar bill uh, with, in that one, I won't tell you what it is, but, but you can go watch. But for this one, it's a creature from the Black Lagoon. Like I said in the other video, I don't really understand doing this. It's not all that special. It's kind of weird. I mean, it looks good. I mean, it really looks good, like the design of it. This one even better than the other one, but Creature from the Black Lagoon is cool. I just wish maybe it would have been like the art print or something significantly more collectible and cool and interesting. But, I mean, it looks good. It looks really good. I actually really like the orange on that in contrast with like the black and the, and the green. Someone will like it. Like I said, it, it looks good. It's just, I find it weird. It's not my thing. I don't know. I'll be honest. Oh, that that's... I'm going to leave that for a little... You hear that jingling? I think I have an idea what this is, because I know the franchises. Oh my gosh, this thing's kind of heavy. Oh man, look at this. Oh, yes, this is actually really, like, even cooler than I thought it was going to be. Like, even cooler. Oh my gosh. Okay, so this is a prop replica from... The movie Krampus. If people have not seen the Krampus movie, it's really, really good. Michael Dougherty did it. It's the same guy who did the film Trick or Treat, which is like one of my favorite horror films, period. Uh, Krampus is really good, especially for watching around um, the holiday, the December holidays. But this is the be a rep replica of the bell that is given by, by Krampus in the movie Krampus. And it looks like, you, you can't tell, but it's like, I don't know if you can kind of see, like it's really thick. You can kind of see in there that it's like really thick. 
And I, I can hang, I don't even know if I can hang this on our tree, because we actually just have, like, a three-foot tree. We, we don't do, like, a full-on tree, we just do a really small one, but this thing is, like, heavy, and it's, like, it's, like, iron, and it looks legitimate, like, it looks old and, like, wow. I'm impressed with that, that looks really good, and that's, that quality is, like, great. That's cool. I like that a lot. Because I have, like, a prop replica from Krampus that is that bell, and I had gotten it from Horror Block when they were in business. <sighs> Whole other story. Watch, go back and watch my old Horror Block unboxings. They're usually really... I'm really angry in them because they have a lot of problems. But um, they had given me a bell that was, like, really cheap and crappy, and that's been on there. So this is definitely going to replace it because that's really cool. I'm really a fan of um, I'm gonna do the pin next. Oh, nice. Yes, this is a cool pin. This is a good pin. Uh, so this is from the franchise Silent Night, Deadly Night. Um, another good Christmas horror film. And this is, I think, Billy? I think, I can't remember. I think his name's Billy. Uh, the homicidal Santa Claus. He's got his bloody axe there, dressed up as Santa. He's gonna go around and chop some people up. That's good. That's a good pin. As usual, Bambox killing it on the pins. They, I, they seldom have missteps on those pins. All right. Um, I'm just gonna do the special, special Bianca one that I got right now, and see. This one's. See, I with this, I was just like, oh man, it's such a crapshoot. Like, are you gonna get something you actually like or not? Um, and he even says, like, they're in these nice, like, protective cases. You can see they're, like, thick protective cases. She's got her signature on there. It says that it's, like, a limited edition thing and everything. And I ended up getting the Headless Horseman. With a pumpkin head in his arms. I mean, it looks good. I like it. And I like, like, the blood splatter right there. The thing with, with a lot of these that I saw, like, they look, like, very simplistic but depending on what the character was, sometimes it looked like it really fit with that character, and sometimes it was kind of like, mm, it makes it look a little weird. This one, totally good. I like it. Um, I'll have to look, I'll have to go out and look and see what people are trading of these, because there might be another one that someone's trying to get rid of that I like even more, like if there's an Ash vs. Evil Dead, or like a Trick or Treat, or you know, something like that, I might like that more, but I really do like this one, so as long as there's not something else out there, I'm like, oh, I have to have that one, I'll trade it, um, I'll keep this otherwise, that's cool, I like it, and like I said, Bianca, I can't imagine how much work you did for these <laughs> things, ugh, I wouldn't have done it, that, that's, ugh. all right, oh, and if you haven't noticed yet, if you didn't see the other video, I'll never stop pooping t-shirt with a rainbow coming out of a dog's butt. Just in case you were wondering what that says. That's all. All right, piece of artwork. This is by Chris Kuchta or Kuchta. I don't know. I'm sorry, Kuchta. Uh, this is, oh, wow, this is nice. Ooh, this is really nice. So this is from a Freddy vs. Jason franchise, which a lot of people hate that movie. I watched it for what it was, just going to be dumb, but hopefully fun, and it was fun, so... Uh, so I like it. Uh, this is nice. So look, you have uh, Jason Voorhees back there. You have Freddy standing in front of him. And then you have them. You can see it without too much glare. The, uh, look there. Them facing off down here. That's a nice art print. That's nice. They usually have really good art prints too. Um, number 669 out of 1500. That's... Uh, Chris Kuchta... I'm sorry if I'm saying your name wrong, but you did an awesome job. This is really cool. I like this. This box is pretty good. Pretty good box. Now, I think this is it. The autograph. Uh, okay, so this is uh, autograph from I Spit on Your Grave. I'm the newer one because the guy looks pretty young. It's Chad Lindberg. <coughs> Excuse me, allergies and stuff. Chad Lindberg. Okay. I don't know. I didn't see the newer one. I've seen the old I Spit on Your Grave. I haven't seen the newer one. I'm usually not into remakes when I think the originals were good because I usually don't feel like 
there's anything to be improved. It's either going to be the same or worse. So, haven't seen the remake. Probably won't ever see the remake. Don't think I need to. So, this autograph kind of means nothing to me. But, that doesn't mean that I don't think it's a good idea. I mean, it's a decent idea to put in here. Like I've said before on these unboxings for the horror box, as long as they're putting people in the box that were in horror films, I'm good. Like, even if they're, like, obscure you know, characters, because, like, at a lot of these horror conventions, which I go to a few of them, that you have a lot of obscure people showing up, and people always want their autographs anyway. If they're tied to movies they like, it's worth having. So I'm totally fine with them doing this. It just doesn't mean anything to me because I haven't seen it and won't see it, but I like that they're sticking on this track. So um, that was it, and, yep, box gone. I like it. All right, here we go. Now I'm going to get the digital thing, the digital spoiler sheet here. Okay, so they have the autograph, Chad Lindbergh for my spin in the grave. Um, so they had some metallic. There are two different live action movie shots most will get, but there are metallic chase photos. Well, they didn't show what that chase photo would look like, so I don't know. Um, so they all looked like this. Um, at least that they're showing on here. The Creature from the Black Lagoon million dollar bill. Doesn't really say much about it. I mean, like I said, design looks good. Uh, the one out of one Bianca Thompson, which I'm going to show you this so you can get an idea of like what the some of the other ones look like because they have some pictures. So there's like Sam from Trick or Treat. That would be really cool to have. There's like Freddy Krueger, Twisty the Clown from American Horror Story, half of Jason Voorhees. That would have been one of the, you needed two of them to make the whole thing up. Uh, Pennywise the Clown from the new It. I mean, it looked good. So, I wonder what other people got. And then they have the prop replica from Krampus, which was really well executed, like I said. Uh, the Freddy vs. Jason print. So there was a 200 limited edition that they made 250 of that was like black and white. You can see like that's the normal one that I got. And then there's a black and white one sitting under it. In those instances, honestly, I'm glad I got the regular one because I don't really need a black and white for that. It doesn't enhance it at all for me. So I'm totally cool with that. And then all three of the pins were going to be from... Um, sorry, doing laundry, <laughs> if you hear that. Uh, all three of the pins were going to be from Silent Night, Deadly Night. And you can see up here the different ones they did. That's the one that I got. It's a normal one. Then there's out of 250. And that, there's one only out of 50. That one's amazingly good. Like, I think this one's awesome. This one's eh. And this one's really crazy good. Only 50 of those. Wow. Okay. Only 50. Hmm. And that's it. Um, happy with it. Like it. The one out of one Bianca Thompson card. Super cool. The band box pin. Always amazing. This replica from Krampus. I was expecting to get it and just be like, eh, it's like a lot like the one I already have. Whatever. Um, the banknote, I mean, really well designed, but mm -hmm. uh, not my thing for the autograph, but on the right track. And I, and I understand that some people probably like it. And this art print's really cool. So, overall, I really like this box. Keep it going, bam, with your horror stuff. Uh, and Bianca Thompson, once again, you did great work. And you're working hard. Thank you, everyone, for checking this out. If you haven't already, check out my unboxing for the regular December BAM box, which had some cool items in it and will be up at the same time as this. So, thank you, everyone. And until next time, keep it brutal.